So as we work with the main view, we will access some properties so we can preview in a, with new uh, ray tracing preview and other options. So let's look closer. What is a recommended workflow to to this and what is all of those additional options that so right now by default you notice if you move around your terrain as you're moving you'll notice usual um, render will start running and will re-render for you in the preview right on top right here you have options to um, turn on high details so it will render a little bit more so it will give you a little bit better preview if you need it like on terrain you can see right now we have a little bit more preview um ray uh, ray tracing preview will add, allow you to more accurate and faster to preview some elements like atmosphere um clouds materials and other options however it's have some limitations for this the one of them for example if we're going to turn right now ray trace preview and you'll notice when we start moving around it still have it does not render when we move the camera around so you'll need almost like turn it off turn it on and do this way so to preview probably what you want to do it is go enable your normal uh, generation if you want high details or not okay be sure you press pause on this case where you render. Otherwise, um, it's have some instability issues. And at this point, we can enable. And we also can enable a um, preview of the materials, atmosphere, lighting, if we have any. Okay, so right here we have render. Notice one thing, so let me go and check all of this. Okay, if I enable first um, preview without actually enabling, it won't render. So you want, if it does not render, you want um, retoggle your real um, ray tracing preview so it will render with atmosphere and terrain and everything. So some of the options right here you can notice it is disabled. Okay, and will be available when you disable real tracing like high detail. Okay, additional options, we know this is material, atmosphere, and lighting. We also have a change object display mode, and it's we can have it different type on the selected objects. As well, new one, we have a toggle depth of field preview. And by enable, you can see right here, we have a line that showing us what is uh, will be in focus area, and what is blur will start applying to. And of course, this is all related to um camera position of the camera let me go zoom out a little bit okay uncheck hd so we can pre-render a little bit faster okay and it's also depend quite a bit on the um actually it's in the camera on the focal link remember if we have a telephoto our depth of field will be much shallow so that will affect as well as aperture as well so it's additional options and we'll look on some of those options in our other tutorial about depth of field but overall the preview will let you know where is the blur will start applying okay the other options we have it beside that we have a painting of the shaders so in some tutorials previous um, previous collection of tutorials we paint clouds by using the painting shader so you can paint on specific plane or you can play it on material next we also have it edit or stop population instance so when we're playing uh, place trees or other ones and another tools we're going to do this so we can kind of start using those paint and details and of course enable disable measuring mode that is very useful when you need no um, distance and I used actually this one quite a bit when I needed from camera measure for example how far away some object and I want to use a depth of field so it'll let me know where's my focusing point should be okay so on the bottom right here we have it also the remember camera copy cameras uh, different viewpoints and additional options again this is was in a basic uh, terrigen tutorial so you can look on that series where we're going over mostly what we 
want to again repoint it is do recommend for you if you want to use it uh, ray tracer preview mode that when you're done rendering you want to pause then use your ray tracer enable disable some options so we can you know what I mean so you can preview them and when you're done enable and pause and then you can move so you can see it will re-render and they can use it now ray tracer preview again